do you need to be awesome at maths to become an engineer? Um, yes and no. In this video, we try to clear some confusion. Let's put my thinking cap on. And we are ready to go. Let's go. Hey Charlies, what you doing? It's Charlie time. Oh yeah. You know, a lot of people ask me, I really want to become an engineer, but I'm not that good at maths. What should I do? And my first reaction was, who the hell told you that you need to be awesome at maths to become an engineer? <laughs> Ask the engineers, are they good at maths, really? Well, the question that needs to be answered is how good at maths you need to be. You know, like algebra good, or like trigonometry good, or like calculus good. You know what I mean. Set the bar. How good is good? Really? Now, somebody who can do fast calculations is very good at calculations. But maths is so much more than that. And so is engineering. It's more about concepts. I think all the engineers here will agree to that. If you are an engineer and you are watching this video, comment below your experiences and help other people. Yeah, you can do it, my friend. Like I said, engineering is so much more than that. It's about last minute exam preparations. Asking the syllabus to the Xerox shop guy. You know exactly what I mean. Copying lab assignments. Buying the fourth year project kit and being extremely proud for that A grade. Uh huh. Dang it. I'm sorry, my engineer friends, I'm letting out our secrets, but um, not all of them. Somehow in India, there is this mindset that if you're good at maths, you become an engineer. And if you're good at bio, then you become a doctor. But this mindset is so thus thus ke bhara hua hai ki nikalta hi nahi hai. Tum jo chahe kar lo, nikalta hi nahi hai. Come on, now going to Mars is no yardstick for the change of mindset, right? We are still stuck up in the same place where we were 10 years ago. We are still dealing with the similar stereotypes. Namaste, namaste, beta. Aur sab kaisa chal raha hai? Bas sab theek aunty. Acha hai, bhai acha hai. Prabhu ki kripa hai, acha hai. Aur beta, kya kam karte ho? Aunty, I'm a YouTuber. Kya? Kya? YouTube? Ye? Kya? YouTuber. Oh, beta, koi nayi tarah ka engineering hai kya? Pata nahi, aajkal to naye naye tarah ke engineering aate rehte hain, hai na? Nahi nahi, YouTuber. Main videos banati hoon YouTube pe. ए इंटरनेट पे अच्छा क्यों क्यों बनाते हो वीडियो शीडियो और देखो मार्स जाने के बारे में तो मुझे बोलो भी मत बिकॉज़ आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गाइस नो बट आई एक्चुअली वर्क्ड ऑन द मार्स प्रोजेक्ट एट इसरो यू नो इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च आई वर्क्ड देयर and i think mars mission was my last satellite before i quit being a scientist at indian space research you might ask why did you quit becoming a space scientist hmm i think that is a topic for another video hmm definitely going to make it for you guys stay tuned now back to engineering yes being an engineer is great wonderful but being so many other things is great too and we need to acknowledge this soon Now okay if you really want to do engineering you should understand one thing that engineering does not involve a lot of maths yes it does engineering actually uses the concepts of maths physics and other sciences to solve the real life problems that we face every day you get my point maybe you're not that good at math but you can still be an awesome engineer yes you will need to understand the concepts of mathematics logical reasoning and analytics and all of those things you don't need to be awesome at mathematics no way i am not i can tell you and i'm a decent engineer all right still no all right let me give you an example let's assume you want to launch a satellite are kahi to show off karne ko milega that i worked at indian space research organization ha huh? so you want to launch a satellite right so that's your problem now the concept is you should push the satellite with that force that it goes at such a point of earth's gravitational field where if it revolves around the earth the gravitational force pulling it towards earth and the centrifugal force which is generated by the satellite revolving around the earth will be equal and opposite due to which the satellite doesn't fall back to earth so that is the concept 
Now to execute it practically, you need to calculate a lot of things. The orbit at which the satellite will revolve, the mass of the satellite, the mass of the launch vehicle, the force of propulsion, all of these things and there are many more. Oh, don't get scared, there are very good software calculators which do it for you. You still need to recheck those values, you cannot only depend on the software, right? Where your understanding of the concept is tested. But do you exactly know what you're doing, what you're calculating, right? Otherwise you know what will happen. And just so you know, even while studying engineering, you are allowed calculators during the exams. Nobody expects you to do all the calculations manually, really. To solve a problem, you need to first understand the problem and then apply your concepts and understanding and logical reasoning to get to the answer. Bus, that's it. Simple. Now another question, should you do engineering first thing? If you love concepts and logical reasoning and want to solve practical problems in the world, you should and you must. Now, are you inquisitive enough? Do you think about conceptual questions and try to find the answer? And has it ever happened to you? You were thinking about some logical problem and then you suddenly got the answer and you suddenly had this Eureka moment. Eureka! Eureka! And son, tell me, engineering or doctor? No, do a degree, then we'll get married. Just. Risharma gay de bichari. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Friday to make your weekend more fun and something to think about. So because New Year is coming, I am planning something special. And the updates will be coming on Twitter. So don't forget to follow me there. Links in description. Do check out. And I will see you next week. Same time, same place. Watch me. Love and peace. Ta-da!